Mademoiselle, eh, agachez les cahiers, eh, jamais ça fini mal, 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 nous gourri qui mal, 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 eh, ouri danger, eh, amour de l'élégance, eh, ouri dit t'es comme madame, mama, nous gourri qui mal, mal, eh, 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 ouri dans le quartier, ça aura à faire ouais. Jemunda kamere ya wenza himindiri monga mirioni. So my name is Inki. I'm in Hindi. You can call me in Hindi. Muyango, that's my full name. I'm 35 and I'm uh, Randy's, like a young, not that young, but a young artist singer uh, living in Rwanda since 2020 to 2021. Yeah, 2021. So two years and and ish. Actually, I, I, I was born in Belgium and I came here just after the genocide with my mom. And I lived here for like maybe five years. And then I, 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 I went back in Belgium for school actually. It was like just school, you know. I went in second, secondaire, how do you say, like a high, high, high school, secondary, like, yeah. So I went back in Belgium and yeah, I spent like practically 20 years there. And yes, in the COVID, that's when I, I felt the, the need to, to come back in Rwanda. So yeah, 2021, I took a, a, BA and I, a BA, a ticket and I came back in Rwanda. During COVID, I started like do like videos on Instagram. And I start like mix French and Kinyarwanda. Initially, I'm, I'm a French singer and I'm a chanteur francophone. But in, during COVID, I was like just trying new things and I, I speak a little bit Kinyarwanda. So I mixed my French and my Kinyarwanda and it works. I wrote like the song Guino Hano, which was like the, the, the first one like, uh, like going viral in, on my social media. And I, yeah, so seeing that i was like okay maybe there is something to do in rwanda i'm not i'm not like i'm not like I'm, I'm doing nothing here so let me just you know, go there and see what is happening yeah yes and actually i'm running so it was just going ho going back home but with an idea to just you know try something and develop my my arts and my music so yeah that's how i i went back here so my journey was like it was complicated at first, so, I, I, so when I arrived here, it's like you need to, how to say, like, a, <laughs> to collaborate with everything. So in Belgium, it's everything, like, everything is different, like the, 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 the vibe, people, how things work is like really another rhythm. So uh, at, the fr at first, like in the beginning, I, I had to adapt myself in like, to, in the, like the, the, run, the, the running rhythm. And it, was, it wasn't that easy, but uh, I was like with my friend. No, I have a lot of friends here, dog, so it was easy for me just to you know, follow them and just take it like easy. And then I met my wife and uh, at that point it was more easy. Everything will, looked more easier to do with someone who supports you, helps you and you know, guides you in the journey. So the journey was like about difficulty in music, but mostly love. I wasn't sure that I wanted to, to stay in Rwanda. And you know, in Rwanda, sometimes things can like take times to, to like just... And yeah, to, to, to meet my wife was one of the, yeah, the, the, the things that like gave me the strength to say, okay, you know what, let's go, just do it. And I was just, yes. My first like, uh, objective, yeah, was to my first target, like yeah, my first goal was to 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 meet like, to meet with a lot of artists and try to 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 create something about that, like and I, so I reached some of them, and actually how I was saying in Rwanda, sometimes uh, things can take times to just. Uh, yeah, to just uh, be, to just begin, you know, you know. Sometimes, so we talked, but uh, in all of that, you know, uh, creating things and uh, like networking, I I made like one song with Ruti Joel. It was like the first artist with I, uh, which no, with 
I start to working with, yeah, or something like that, c'est ça. And uh, yeah, it was uh, like perfect because Ruti Joel is um, a modern art artist, but also he's mixed with the Gakondo. And I can like uh, do like the, the connection with my father. So it was like a way to connect with young artists, like talented artists, but in some like in some way like it's it was also to like connecting with the, my my roots my dad's music i'm not a gakondo musician or singer but i'm clearly interested by that part of my culture and my me actually because he's my father so yeah rutijol was like the first you know the first like uh, bridge exactly to that Thank you, my wife, to help me speak a good English. So it was the first bridge, and since then I'm trying to yeah to build to 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 uh, actually I can say something is not a, like it's not really a secret, but I'm trying to do s some music with my father directly. So he's the main goal. Everybody was like, please do some music with your father, because my father is like an, an, a big artist like for the traditional music in Rwanda. And at some point, people are starting to recognize me in Rwanda. They can uh, identify me like, oh, he's like uh, the Midioni singer. That's how they call me. But Midioni, sometimes I'm just walking like, Midioni, like uh, Agasherika and I'm like, okay, that's me. That's me. And yeah, so at that point, I think the, yeah, the next big step, I'm going to work with a lot of artists and I'm not just going to tease people. It's going to happen at some point and I think people are going to enjoy it. But my next big step is to work with my father, which is something important because how you said it is it's a it's like some it's someone. It's a, some people call called him like a legend in Rwanda. And uh, yeah, I want to I want to I want to work with the legend, you know. Now, besides to be my father, I'm I'm respecting the guy. It's like a, a big artist. He, he he made a lot of great things for the for the country for the culture for the tradition so yeah to to make music with him would be like one of the biggest achievements in my music career my young music career yeah. two things i like in rwanda uh first of all to see a lot of people looking at looking as I look, let's say like looking like me, actually, you know. In, I, I lived in Belgium for many, many years, and there were like a lot of white people around me. And I'm really, I'm actually comfortable around white people, but living in a country where people like look like me, it's one of the greatest feeling I can, I can like. It's they when they talk, when they laugh, when they just be themselves, they. They look like me, they look like my mom, my father, so it's actually it's a great feeling. And uh, other thing, in Rwanda I think there is a, a lot of possibilities. It's complicated, I, I, said, I said it a lot, things can take time, but uh, for someone like me, in Rwanda the possibilities are like, like it, there is an infinity of possibilities. I can try a lot of things and I can find, always find someone who can help, help me in that uh, process and that's amazing because I think Ran Rwanda is a country uh, that look like you know forward yeah forward yeah next and you can feel it in the how people are just working together and yeah that's something I really loved love well, no, it's not in the past I think the thing I really don't like in Rwanda it's maybe the the concept of ihangane sometimes. People are asking me to quit hang and that too much, you know. So yeah, I, I, I'm a maybe Swedish like person. I like to to go straight and not you know making like some. But sometimes I don't know why people are asking you quit hang and so to wait. And sometimes I'm like waiting what? I'm there, you dare? Let's just do it like a high going hang and it's really it's really hard for me. Like uh, can say can say like. I'm struggling with the hangane, and you know sometimes you're just talking with people and you're starting like, and then the hangane that I can just, but yeah, it's Rwanda, so I'm just the hangana, ngachete kanga tuza.
for my music, uh, except for the like my father project, just you know, being able to share my music, like going in a lot of places. I want to just yeah, share my music everywhere in Rwanda, not just in Kigali, because yeah, Kigali is the, it's the main place for me. I'm living in Kigali, so yeah, it's easy for me. But I want to go. Musanze, I want to go to Rubavu, I want to go everywhere, Kibuye. I, I, I want to make a tour. I want to make a tour in Rwanda, so that's maybe uh, the, one of the greatest things I'm going to do, like, like in, uh, like, uh, un proche, un futur proche, like, uh, comment dis ça? In the future, like, a near future. Soon, I'm not gonna say soon, maybe in a year, I'm gonna start with the EP, the like five or six songs. Mm -hmm. And I wanna, and I, and I want, it, and I want it to be like a featuring EP. So, like working like each song with an artist, Kabadi Budi writing, or just a feel like a classic featuring singing with a rapper, singer, like. So yeah, an EP, and then after that, if people are receptive to my the, the music, and I feel that there is a bridge, let's go. I can I can try the album because I think an, an album it's it's a lot of work, a lot of time, money, energy, and to put that everything in a project, you you you're not sure to to yeah, he's gonna like reach the the audience you wanted to, you want to reach. Yeah, I think it's a bit risky. So I'm gonna yeah. start gahoro gahoro, and with an EP, and then after that maybe an album. You know what? I don't know who's gonna be on the EP, but I know with who I want to work on uh, uh, on the EP. I, I, it's not that surprising, actually. The one of the, the there is two people like Ruti Joel. Obviously, I'm gonna work with him, with with him again. Obviously, it's it's a brother, and uh, I want to like really work with the Mike Kaihura. Obviously, it's one of the the first singer I you know I started to listen when I came back here in like in 2021. And I love his vibes, and we all already start talking about making music together. So I think he's gonna be on it. And uh, the other one is Kivumbi. Kivumbi, like uh, I met him like in two uh, in 2018. He was like a young rapper, like uh, almost a poet. He wasn't like that rap rap music. And I met him like in the jam, and since then we just connected in some some way. So I think he, uh, yeah, it would be cool to have. Him on and some other artists like not that known, you know, just to bring like new vibes and new, yeah, new things. Baby, I miss you much. Two weeks ago, I got married uh, with the most beautiful woman in the world, uh, even in the galaxy, if you want to like my, my, my strict opinion. But yeah, um, being a husband, it's pretty cool because uh, how I was saying uh, I think life is more easier when you have someone to share it with and uh, yeah I was like looking for a lot of things and since I'm married I think I'm like more confident about all the things I, I want to do uh, and all the projects and yeah my wife is an amazing person, she's a supportive, she's a caring, a loving, so yeah, I cannot complain. And I'm trying to be like a good husband, you know. In Rwanda it's something important and I didn't... <laughs> so when I, came, when I came back in Rwanda, I, I, you, you should ask me at that point, like, did you get married at some point, like in two years, I was like, I probably like laugh at the moment, but yeah, today I'm uh, happy and uh, yeah. Happily married, yeah, that's how they, you say it, yeah. I like it. Yeah.